When my husband and I moved here, my husband had closed his business and we decided we were going to retire. And I actually worked the Georgia Dental Association as a lobbyist and had quite varied um, responsibilities with the company. So all of a sudden to just decide, okay, I'm retiring and not do anything was just a shock to me. And that's what kind of drove me towards looking to volunteer. When I retired after working so many years and with people, and I enjoyed being with people, there was a void in my life. And uh, I needed something to fill that void. And Meese Countryside was right around the corner from my home. And when I went in to approach them on the subject, they were very open and welcoming. And it just flowed. I just became a part of the family. So I went in and applied, and as I walked in the door, the person interviewing me said, oh, you're just the person we want. With your camping background and your teaching, we have this camp called Camp Living Springs, which is for adult cancer survivors. And she said, you'd be really great at that. And we have a new program called Patient Companion, and you'd be good at that also. I really do feel like the patients are very appreciative. I had one patient one morning tell me when I went in to give him the paper, he'd been in the hospital for quite a while, so he'd gotten used to us coming by with the paper, and he said, you know, he goes, I know it's a little thing, but you dropping off the paper makes it feel a little bit more like home. And I just thought that was a really sweet thing to say, and I felt, wow, they, you know, the patients really do appreciate the volunteers. When you volunteer, no matter where it is, but when you volunteer, you actually are giving back to your community. You're contributing what talents you have to better the community that you live in, and I think that's very important. I'm the trainer for the Patient Companion Program, and I train many, many people from many different avenues of experience, ages, and they all fit. And they range from teenagehood all the way to senior, senior, senior citizen. And it's just a miracle to me how well they all work together. They, they are like a big family. And when one is ill, the other one covers four. And one is, when one is away, one, the other covers. It's just, it's just a family. You know, volunteering at the hospital has definitely been very fulfilling for me. And I think if anyone's considering volunteering at a hospital, it would definitely be fulfilling to them, to probably fill a void in their life. I know it has with me. I would tell people if they wanted to volunteer, number one, they should contact the volunteer office at the hospital and meet with the volunteer resource personnel. And there are over 70 different areas in which a person can be involved. Everything from a care van to a gift shop to the program that I volunteer on, there is a place for everyone to be involved. Go to the hospital and give your time, four hours a week, minimum six month commitment, more or less, depending on what you personally can give and want to give. And I think you'll be, uh, you have the warm, fuzzy feeling.